Hello. I've arrived. All right. So, an Arknight stream, if you can believe it. And not only an Arknight stream, but an Arknight stream in the same month as the last Arknight stream. It's been a while since we've had one of those, hasn't it? But yes, so let's see. Not a whole lot of business to go over here. Um, at least not a whole lot that I can think of. But yes, so today, Arknight, like I said, yeah, next week we should be... Actually, let's see. Next week... Next week, I guess my schedule is going to be a little bit different, but with the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. But yes, my schedule is going to be a little bit different, and I suppose, now that I think about it, I haven't checked in with Sheps to see if their schedule is going to be any different. So, depending on circumstances, we may or may not be able to, uh, may not be able to have the usual collab on Wednesday. And other than that, I'm also going to be out of town a fair amount. <coughs> Yes, I'm not. I don't have any plans on going to any particular celebrations, but I am going to be house sitting for someone who is. So yeah, so I'll be out of town for uh, <clears throat> at least part of Saturday. At least part of Saturday. So it's entirely possible that there won't be another Arc Night stream uh, next Saturday. Yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely doable. The only question is, how feasible is it? And, you know, we'll, we'll see. Like I said, we will see. So yes, so that is next week. Basically, all I've said is that I don't know what's happening, and I'm doubtful that much will, but we will see. I do have, I do have a few days off next week on account of the holiday, so I might, if, well, I don't know, I'm going to need to spend most of those days off through doing the house setting also. So I guess that wouldn't be much better. Wouldn't be much better. We'll see. I think I might actually be back at some point on Saturday. So it might not be... I might not be streaming in the afternoon next Saturday like I am now, but I should be able to... I should be able to stream on Saturday. Yeah, at the very least, I'll definitely... I'll definitely be back by the evening, I'm sure, one way or the other. Yeah, I might be back before that, though. Let's see, anything else? So, that is that. Next week, already mentioned, with a collab. We will see. Um, I think that's basically everything. Not a whole lot of business these days. Again, we're only streaming two days a week. But, that's better than uh, one, one day a week. And better than zero days a week, which have been fairly common. But yes. Um, I guess there's not a whole lot else to go over before we get started. But yeah, one thing I didn't realize is that we're actually pretty close to the end of this this year. Uh, oh, hold on, we don't have game audio. Now, why could that be? Actually, I think I know exactly why that is. One second. All right, game audio should be back, and it looks like it is. But yes. Where was I? Right. So yeah, last time, the last mission that we did was S S S211. And I didn't realize that we're basically right on the end of this chapter. I kind of wish that I'd gone a little bit longer last time, but oh well. We have this for today. But yeah, and uh, I've mentioned it before. But chapter three is the limit of how far I've gotten into the game so far. As you can see, I haven't played uh, I haven't played the first mission of chapter three yet. So yeah, so we're very very close to being in entirely uncharted territory for me, which will be pretty interesting. But yes, before we get started, let's take a little sip. Sip. All right. I suppose there's no reason to delay any further. Let us get into things. Yes, Elite 1, Level 1. So yeah, so that's definitely higher than our... higher level than our units are. I think we should probably still be able to... manage, I would, I would think. 
strong squad. But yes, we should still be able to manage fairly well. I don't anticipate any huge issues, but we will see. All right, S212. Yeah, so we've got to defend two sides here. You know, it occurs to me that I don't have a whole lot of ground units. At least not as many as I maybe should have. I don't know why. what I'm waiting for. I might as well deploy a vanguard. <coughs> Got it. Ice Rangers thusly. And we will see how this uh, treats us, this deployment. Maybe I should have gone with Jessica. I suppose the drones aren't such a big deal that we desperately need Ranger's damage bonus to deal with them. Hmm, but these fellows are definitely definitely a bit of an issue. But yeah, so we're gonna need a defender there. And do we I know Doberman I think I might need to promote Doberman's only level 25, huh? Commence tracking. Hmm, hold on. There's another drone there. I saw that drone, actually, but I assumed that it would change course and fly downwards, but uh, it seems that I was wrong about that. <clears throat> yeah, so Doberman um, alongside another unit that I don't believe that I've shown. Yeah, maybe a few more, but Doberman at least is a particular type of operator who specializes in... Oh, dear. Hmm. And thus so yeah, she is an operator that specializes in dealing with... Uh, or rather, she's an operator that has the ability to buff units that are nearby to her. Hmm. Jessica's holding her own pretty well over there. Hmm, maybe she's not holding her own that well. At least not when there's too many targets to deal with. But yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, so Doberman has the ability to buff units nearby to her. And it looks like we need a little bit more damage over on this side also. Also, I learned how uh, Franca's ability works. And apparently I didn't... Hmm. Alright, we're definitely going to need more... Yeah, we should have faced Ling downwards. Because we've got a lot of enemies here that have higher defense. So we're not... Oh, and Cicero can't heal uh, Franca also. Hmm. So, uh, we might just lose this, but we might not, actually. Hmm. It's going okay, I suppose. Anyway. Actually, hold on. Shaw. Shaw's a great choice for this. Because she can push people right off. Okay, maybe not. That might not be... I guess that's not a pit down there. Is not an I can't option. see because Courier's head is in the way, unfortunately. But considering that enemies aren't getting pushed off, it seems that that's not a place where enemies can get pushed off of. And we might not have enough damage here. Okay, okay, the caster's down, so I think that's the biggest threat, basically. Hmm. It feels like they should be able to go off the edge down there on that tile directly south of directly south of uh, Shaw, but it seems like they're not going off, so it is what it is, I suppose. That went pretty well. It could have gone better. Anyway, Oberman has the ability to buff units nearby her, but they have to meet certain criteria. They have to be under a certain star rarity. I believe it's three? And I also believe that I also believe that I might not be getting that bonus at all because I think that those units also need to, or that Doberman specifically also needs to be promoted. Um yes. Yes. So all this time, all this time I was wanting to use Doberman to buff my low rarity units because I didn't plan to use low rarity units for all that long into the game. Uh or at least not use a whole lot of them. And I didn't have Doberman's talent at all. <laughs> I didn't have any access to it. So, I've not actually been... Ooh. 
I guess I should have been a little bit careful, but we're also, you know, these are all units that I have, uh, all units that we've seen before. <coughs> so no issue there. But yes. Now that I think about it, we do have, while I don't think we're necessarily going to need to promote anyone in order to make it through these next few stages, it occurs to me that we probably should have our units at like, not level 25, maybe? Going forward? Sit. At least not if I want to make any good use of them. I definitely want to see Doberman's skill in action. This is how so we're going to promote her off. at least. Promotion, huh? Thanks. I'm just doing my job. Sit. And I'm glad you can do your job like for real now, now that I've given you the ability to do it. Yes, so Power Strike and Spur. So this is going to be an ability that increases her Starter Instructor buff. So yes, when deployed, all three star. Okay, so it's not, it's not operators under a certain star rarity. It's operators of a specific star rarity. So yes, all three star operators gain plus 6% attack. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that has a range on it. I'm pretty sure that's not just global. But then again, it might it might actually be global. Who knows? You know what? I can know. I can look this up. <laughs> It'll take but a moment. But yeah, there's a new Arknights wiki, incidentally. We haven't referred to it much because I haven't, you know, haven't referred to either of the wikis much because we haven't really had much need to. But there's a new one. A non, uh, one that is independent of uh, fandom. Yes, the old one uh, has not been well maintained since the new one split off. So I understand that it is very much. Uh... Ah, hello, Liz. Yes, Coco Dayo, indeed. Or rather, I should I should do the the proper voice. Coco Dayo. Yes, good to see you. It's been a little while, hasn't it? <laughs> Um, let's see, I guess I don't see, I don't see a specific range on the talent, so it might, it might be global. Hmm, that's a bit of a surprise. But yes, anyway, we'll set Doberman's default skill to Spur. And I think now that we have uh, Doberman and we're able to make use of her talent, let's try and build our team a little bit to do that, shall we? But yes, we will hide this real quick as per usual. <coughs> ba, ba, ba. I always forget where I put the thing, the graphic. There we are. Enjoy the movie while I switch out my team members. But yes, so Rangers is not a three star, sadly. But. He's done pretty well for us. I feel like we've had plenty of time to appreciate Rangers. And appreciate him, I certainly do. Yes, now that I think about it, most of my three stars are at a relatively high level. At least relative to what we've been seeing. Um, where's the rally point? Yes, relatively high compared to what we've been seeing. So this might uh, make things a little bit easier for a little while. But yes, I don't think I'll worry too, too much about that, though. Ba -ba. Ah, we've also got to level up uh, Chen at some point, I think. But yes. Do we want to... Yeah, we might as well. I won't switch around the team too much, but I'll make a few changes. We'll put in... Who else do we want to put in? <laughs> what do we have for three-star guard options? Because yes, we definitely... Like I've said, we definitely need some more guards. Or at least, we need some more... Round units. It looks like... Hmm, it looks like we don't have a whole lot of options for that, but we do have Midnight. And we haven't seen yet. Um, I think we'll keep 
We'll keep Chen and we'll keep Franca. And we'll swap out Courier. Let's swap out Courier for Vanilla. All right. Yeah, so that should be sufficient. We'll get a few chances to see, see Doberman's talent in action, I think. And as for Chen, we'll level her up. All the way, there we go. It's all in the service of more efficient operations. Indeed. Now, let's put that, that to good use. Because yes, I am no, I'm I was just I was gonna say we are on the right level, right? We're not. We're not. <clears throat> but yes, we have another boss level here. Miss Karm, are you able to hold the line? I'm fine over here. Franca, watch out for an enemy flank. There's no end to them. You don't have a chance of breaking through our defenses. I'm gonna smash you. Gah. <clears throat> ah. What? what is that? It's a thermite blade. Does slicing count as breaking as well? So yeah, so speaking of Franca, I learned how her talent works also. I thought that she did arch damage, but uh, no. In fact, she just has a chance to completely ignore enemies enemy's defense without needing to use uh without doing arts damage yeah so she's good against enemies that have high defense and with high resistance or at least enemies who have uh high defense and resistance doesn't necessarily need to be high resistance but anyway what a pain medic there's someone injured here be careful when transporting them i got it amya How's the situation over there? I think we have a little issue here. Franca, the enemy leader, just showed up in front of me in Liskarm. There is the enemy. Where else do you plan on hiding? You can't escape us, Rhodes Island. I'll grind you to dust. Not even your bones will remain. You traitors. I've turned your backs on the infected. Ooh, this one's finally decided to show up. Doesn't it doesn't sound too impressive, though? Amya, seems like we... <sighs> it's a dead end. I run too far ahead. Rank is also having some problems. Union has us cornered. We'll have to fight. I feel that we more than match up against them. We just have to get a bit more serious. Liskarm, you just don't understand. Whatever level of power we choose to display, we can't let the LGD feel threatened. But we can't just sit here and let them run over us. Defenders, hold your ground. A leader of Rhodes Island, huh? You're an infected, but you still assist lung men in their slaughter of other infected. You have blood of so many of my comrades on your hands. Stand and face me. <clears throat> Reunion. You were the ones who started the hatred the pain, and the violence. You were the ones who started all this in Chernabog. Alright, the battle begins. But yes. Yeah, all this time I've not been doing, I've not been using the uh, practices. I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot, because I typically don't play the game long enough to run out of sanity on these streams. But uh, I think I'll use them, because it's not like I haven't beaten these stages before. So it's not like I need to get anything from playing them. <coughs> Besides, we'll probably need to start practicing a little bit more going forward. So yes. So, I forgot to check in on what the uh, actual archetype is called. But, yeah. Nil is one of those one of those vanguards who have a uh, skill that needs to be manually activated. Let's see. How do we want to swing this? Because yes, this is a stage that I remember somewhat well, because it was uh, quite a challenge for me playing casually. But yes, I think we'll want to. 
with what we have currently, I think we'll place Ling, or we'll place Ling on this side somewhere. I suppose it doesn't matter too much. Probably here, facing upwards. And we'll deploy Ling Summon here. Yes, that tile, the tile with the plus on it, is a medical rune. So that will heal HP over time. And I don't know for sure if that counts for summons as well. But we will see. Yes, I don't have any operators that are great for this composition. For and I think we might have warsaw. messed this up a little bit. Yeah. Right, because I forgot that the... Uh, I forgot that the... The caster doesn't move for quite a while. But yes, here's Midnight. He is a guard who can attack at range. I think we might have seen one of those before. If I remember correctly, the, the term that they use is Lord for that particular variety of guard. Yeah, so we'll place Amiya for some arch damage. Yes, and before the caster starts to move, we will place a summon, and the summon is in fact the summon is in fact dealing damage, or is in fact healing damage. Hmm. This is I didn't think this through very well. I didn't deploy medic. Hmm. Oh well. So yes. Mm, it looks like the the summon doesn't really have It's doing okay, but it's definitely losing against the Oh, oh, there's two casters there. I didn't even notice. That would explain part of it, I suppose. But yes. I'm right here, Doctor. We need a caster. Or we need a healer, rather. Medic, as they are called. Mm. Alright, so I've definitely messed up the deployment a little bit. This should be salvageable. Hang in there. But it's definitely Hang not ideal. That wasn't a great position for the summon, but at least it's there. Truly right, we've got another summon lined up, and now we have... Mm. Now we have a lot of damage. <laughs> Not a lot of damage coming our way. Um, unfortunate. Hmm. Alright. Oh, do... Okay. I definitely don't like the looks of all of this. Hang in there. Place a summon down. This other summon here would probably stand to be in a different location. It could probably stand to be on the tile above, but... Alright, Skull Shatter is kind of giving us the business a little bit. So let's try to... Distract a little bit, maybe. Hmm. Well. Alright. I imagine we... This... I think this is beatable. I just need to revise our strategy a little bit. But it's definitely... Ooh, just ooh I don't like that. Like that. Hmm. Alright. So we, uh, it's a little bit less beatable than I was looking that I was hoping for. Hmm. So yeah, so let's think a little bit about what went wrong there. Yeah, as you can see, this screen shows us a little bit more information about uh, Skull Shatterer and the path that she will be taking. But yes, so up top, that's where those casters are. We need something that'll take care of the casters a little bit faster. And I don't think the I don't think the summons really living up to uh, really living up to the expectations I had of it. Unfortunately, yeah, I thought that the the summon had uh, resistance, but it, I think probably the main issue is just that it doesn't have enough damage to take out the casters fast enough. So yeah, so beyond that, we had a problem that the enemies 
on the lower side, lower side on this side, kind of started piling up and uh, Midnight couldn't take care of them. Yeah, so that could be a problem with damage output. It might just be that that's not a great place for Ling. Um, Cause yeah, I think that most of the enemies we saw there were junk men, I believe. Yeah, junk men is what they're called. So yes, so junk men have high HP and relatively low defense. Yes, they also have a higher resistance. I don't know exactly how much resistance they have. Again, these letter grades are somewhat, they're kind of vague for one thing. And for another thing, they aren't always 100% accurate, I've, I've learned. Sometimes a unit can have pretty high resistance and not have a, you know, not have a letter grade that reflects it necessarily. But yes. So the Defender 4s, so those are going to boost the, the defense of the Junkmen and whatnot on the, the right side. So having the ability to take out drones faster could be good, as well as just straight up more damage. Because yeah, Ling does arch damage, but because we're facing enemies that have some amount of resistance and have generally low defense, the, res the arch damage isn't going to be quite as impactful as it might be otherwise. In fact, Ling might have been better placed on the left-hand side, because there we had more enemies with more defense. Yes, Franca could have also been useful there, but we didn't have the opportunity to, opportunity to really show off what she could do. Yeah, Skull Shatterer, we need to apply a little bit more damage and ideally have some units that are a little bit tougher that can take the take the hit. But yeah, so we need to be able to eliminate high defense enemies on the left hand side and we need the ability to eliminate low defense enemies on the right hand side. So a little bit more arch damage on the left and a little bit more physical damage on the right, I think. And so yeah, in particular, the top part needs a unit with pretty high attack. A pretty high attack to be able to deal with the elite casters. And this gives me an excuse to do something. To buy, th uh, yeah, buy something. But yes, so in the store, you can get all sorts of things, but there's a section for certificates. And this is something I haven't gone into very much before. I think I might've mentioned it, but there are commendations, green certificates, distinctions, gold certificates, I call them. And then there are red certificates. There's more to it than that also. For instance, on the, uh, I guess this is a little bit of a thing. I'll have to blank that out on the VOD, but uh, anyway, so yes, so the red certificates are what we're going to be focusing on at the moment, because through these you can get uh, certain operators. You can see I've already gotten most of the uh, most of the red certificate operators available, as well as you know most of the red certificate items available. Yes, yeah, so you can earn red certificates through a particular set of stages and they are only used for this and they are only generated by that particular set of stages as far as I'm aware. So yeah, so this is a good way to get some pretty useful operators without having to invest, you know, any having to roll for anything. Because again, for instance, the uh, gold certificates and green certificates you get from getting duplicates, mainly from getting duplicates of units that you have already, already have when you, uh, through headhunting and recruitment, of course. So yes, so anyway, Orts here is an operator that has high attack and high HP and low and low resistance, but you know, it is what it is. Most operators have low resistance. But yes, so I've been looking for, I've been planning on uh, going to the store and getting some of these operators at one point. I've been holding off on it until I had a, had a reason to talk about it, but I suppose this is as good a reason as any. So yes, so Quartz in particular, the reason that we got her, and we'll skip through this. Yeah, the reason that we got Quartz is exactly as I stated. 
It's because she is an operator that specifically has high HP and high attack. So yeah. This will be useful for the uh, dealing with the casters, I imagine. Yeah, I think, if I remember correctly, she can also hit multiple units at a time, which will be useful for when the casters start to pile up a little bit. But, ideally, they won't pile up at all. Ideally. What is ideal isn't always what is real, unfortunately. But, it is what it is. Terminal. Ba -ba -ba. Let's get back into things. And see so yes. So for this, then, I think we'll swap out Franca. So, we will blank out the screen just a little bit. I suppose it's not blank, but, you know. We will put the movie up for you to enjoy. Let's see. Quartz. There's Quartz. So yes, Quartz. Let's level Quartz up. Oh yes, also, Potential. I think I might have mentioned this before. In fact, I'm 100% confident that I've mentioned this before. But anyway, since you can just purchase all of the tokens that you want, and I should mention that the operatives that are available from red certificates are only available through red certificates. There we go. Maximum potential for quartz. And we'll get her up to, up to level. Hmm, I wonder... Okay, so she does need to be promoted in order to be able to use her talent. I don't actually know what her talent is. Because again, I wasn't planning on doing this today. So I didn't really think about it. I want to see what her I want to see what her talent is though. So yeah, so wilderness wanderer. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. It's just a health and attack buff. And then all out clash increases damage taken by 25%, attack speed plus 35. Each attack deals 80% attack as physical damage and has a 25% chance to stun the target for two, yeah, for two seconds. That could actually be quite useful. But yes. So as you can see, Quartz has absolutely no defense. Yes, this is a trait of the Crusher Guard, which she is. Yeah, Crushers in general have absolutely no defense. But yes, I think we might as well promote her, just cause. <clears throat> oh, we got a medal for it, nice. Well. What we're, what we're hoping to improve on is mostly on my own strategizing. But I'll be sure to let you know as well. Alright. So, I think this should be pretty okay. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to make use of Doberman's skill quite as much as I had wanted to, necessarily. But let's not delay. Place a, yeah, place a vanguard immediately to start Are they generating the ones deployment who caused points. Such and started all this conflict? I think we'll want to yeah, use cruise. Mm, we might have... No, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, so ideally, in theory, the medical rune should be enough to keep Midnight healthy without the need for assistance from any additional, uh, anyone else. Alright, doing pretty good damage there. Pretty good damage, and not taking too much damage either. It occurs to me that I didn't switch her over to her other skill, but I suppose that's fine. Amia. Got it. There you are. I might have... Might actually have been best to place... Ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we're not going to get a whole lot of deployment points out of her, but at least we got some. I really didn't want to deploy Saria that soon, because I wanted her to be... Yeah, relatively late in the placement. But, For the marching, I can whistle. use, uh, oh, actually, hold on. Once again, I kind of forgot about these, uh, these fellows down here, this caster. 
that's okay. Me healing, I ideally before Amia uh, is defeated. Torch is doing pretty good. How do we want to swing this? Um, pure stream, even with pure streams range, she can't reach up that far. But at least she can heal all of our ranged units. Saria will just have to make do with her relatively, her pretty good defenses at least. Place a summon there to distract. In theory, at least. Hmm. Oh, okay, actually. Just a straight up damage increase. Is nice. Hmm. I could and sh um, you know, what? yeah, should definitely should deploy another unit over here. Catapult may not have been the best choice, but Catapult was at least a choice. Deploy a summon over here to distract once again. Drone is getting through. Hmm. Midnight's kind of low on health. Zarya has gone down. Right, because right, right, right. Yeah, once Skull Shatterer is engaged with Zarya, yeah, she will continue to uh, attack Zarya. But, okay, everyone's good. So yeah, so left side held pretty good, actually. We just had the, yeah, one enemy get past us on the right, unfortunately. And it looks like we might just have two now. Take them out hmm. fast. Okay, so Cruz, it seems, doesn't have quite enough damage to deal with the to deal with the drone. Potentially, if I had placed her a little bit better, I could have managed. But we're not trying for anything in particular here. We're just trying to win. The routed enemies may be calling for reinforcements. We must not drop our guard before we find the last of them. Sorry, it was all business, as always. But yeah, we did pretty good, though. I'm satisfied. I don't need to... Yeah, I don't feel any particular need to get a better rating on this mission, because I've done it already. I don't need to prove myself to anyone. Sip. <clears throat> Ah! Skull Shatterer, are you okay? What a troublesome bunch. Skull Shatterer, W just said that she's all finished on her end. She successfully retrieved the target. W, she won? That's right, her assault went very smoothly. Should we also retreat? Hmm. Send a signal to Tallulah. Roger. We're pulling back. Rhodes Island cowards. The next time we meet, we'll be at your execution. Union is retreating? They're retreating very rapidly. Something must have changed with their plans. Despite all that talk, they sure know how to run away. Something doesn't feel right. Are you saying... We weren't their objective in the first place. It's been a little while since the doctor spoke. Huh. That they were only here to stall us? That's the case. Oh no, the LGD is in trouble. We have to help Madame Chen right now. Franca, call the recon squad back immediately. Liskarm, try to get in touch with Madame Chen. Where's the Special Operations Division? The reinforcements are supposed to be here by now. We were just notified that they've been stalled by Reunion. How is that possible? Reunion is nothing more than a gang of unruly thugs. And they were only facing a single enemy. Uh, unless... Yes, things are heating up here. Yeah. Well, I don't intend to play this mission again right now. I definitely do want to think about it again. I want to, you know, recent, recent showings have demonstrated that I'm not quite as, quite as familiar with this game as I once thought I was. I want to think about what went wrong with my strategy. Definitely 
one of the bigger issues was the fact that I just didn't have... I wasn't healing Saria, you know. I had kind of hoped that the medical rune would be enough to take care of her, but it definitely was not. But yeah, so I should have placed Pure Stream or Sosuro further up. I wanted to keep the medic out of the range of the uh, casters, as well as being able to heal Ling, ideally. But yeah, there are other... Well, I don't think there would have been a much better option that involved only deploying a single medic. Yeah, as for the right-hand side, the issue was just that uh, Cruz just didn't have the damage. Let me see. Oh, is Cruz? Oh, Cruz is only level 10. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that explains it. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought, I thought that Cruz was promoted at some point. I thought that, they, that I had promoted Cruz, but it seems like that is not at all true. Hmm. Anyway. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to uh, be right back real quick. Give me just a moment. All right, I have returned. Yeah. So, actually, hold on. Why am I here? I should be here. But yeah. So anyway... Looking at my squad a little bit more closely, it occurs to me that Pure Stream is also only level 10. So that could be part of the reason why we were having so much issue with the... Uh, yeah, even with the medic, we were still having quite a bit of trouble keeping uh, Amia and uh, Ling healed properly. So uh, maybe I should pay a little bit more attention to my units before I deploy them. But yeah, so that being said... Quartz did fantastic. She did very good. She did exactly what I wanted to do, or wanted her to do, and she did it with great, great ease. Yeah, the only, the biggest shortcomings of our team were the ones that I have just acknowledged, Cruz and, and Pure Stream just being incredibly, incredibly underlevel. Actually, Cicero's pretty underlevel too, isn't she? Yeah, she's only, she's also only level 10. Uh, I guess, yeah, because back when we did the Monster Hunter collab, we leveled up a lot of units, so I guess, I guess I just sort of assumed that my units were already also fairly high level. Yeah, I'm definitely, of these, I'm most surprised about Cruz. I thought that I had leveled up Cruz a lot more than that a long time ago. Because yeah, back when I was most active with this game... I had mostly three stars because it was very, very early on into my play, my time playing the game. So I had thought that I had basically all of my three stars promoted, basically. <laughs> that they were either all promoted or that they were all, or no, yeah, that they were all at least, you know, promotion level, elite one, level one. But it seems that that's uh, very much not true. <laughs> very much not true. But yes. So, as we go into Chapter 3, probably we're going to want to level up some of our units a little bit, huh? But yes. So, sorry as fine as she is, Cruz could probably stand to be, you know, a reasonable, respectable level for what we're about to face. Other than that, though, I think we'll probably switch units around Mm, yeah, we might switch units around more so than we will upgrade them. Let me pull up the, the movie again, so you all can enjoy. I certainly enjoy seeing the movie. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we don't need the movie yet, because we're just going to be... Right now, we're just going to be leveling up crews. But, it is what it is. Movie be gone. Crews be strong. So yeah, we will promote, or we will upgrade Cruz, so and then we'll promote her. A promotion! What a lovely dream! Huh? I'm not dreaming. Indeed, I know you've been uh, you've been waiting a long time for that promotion. But yes. So Cruz, I don't. I think we'll necessarily promote Cicero and Pure Stream just yet. 
In fact, I think what I'll do is instead I will swap them out. I'll swap them out. What medics do we have that are sort of on on the level? Because yeah, my my three star medics are all very high level. For instance, uh, yeah, perfumer or no perfumer perfumer's not a three star, but uh, Ansel, Ansel and Hibiscus, who I believe are the only three star medics. Now that I think about it, yes, they are. But yeah, they are both elite uh, elite one and at the maximum. Yeah, Elite 1, level 55. That's sort of what I expected as the baseline of my 3-star units. But uh, it seems that that's uh, not true. <laughs> Just completely not true in any meaningful way. So, who do we want to switch out? I think since, we've, since I've got... Yeah, Medics are definitely one of the units that I have invested the most in. But... You know what? This will be a great time, I think, to make use of probably one of my favorite medics. New data used to assemble package build. Yes, Telopsis here. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. You can see I've used her quite a bit from the trust. But yeah, one of my favorites has made has made so many of my strategies basically be possible <laughs> in the past. But yeah, she is a multiple target medic. She can heal up to three units at a time, if I remember correctly. Yeah, three allies simultaneously. But yeah, she can heal three allies simultaneously. Multi-target medics, of course, have a little bit lower attack than standard. And lower and shorter... What's the word I'm looking for? They heal slower, less frequently. Lower attack speed, I suppose, is the word that they, they would use. But yes, the main thing that I use Telopsis for, however is Skill Aura, which increases the SP recovery of all, all allies by 0.15 per second. And so yes, this is very good. This is a very good effect. Sit. Because yes, this applies to all, all allies on the entire field, no matter how distant they are from Telopsis, anything like that. It doesn't affect skills that recover from, say, or skills that, where you gain skill points from being hit, or from hitting enemies, it only affects skill points or skills that gain skill points over time. But yeah, even even with that limitation, it's still very good. And I believe that Telopsis is the only, at the very least, the only operator who has a global version of this. There might be others that can increase skill point generation in a smaller area around them. And there are certain operators like uh, Liskarm, so I think we might have seen that effect of, but uh, Liskarm, whenever she takes damage, she gives a skill point to every unit who that is uh, adjacent to her. But yeah, and I believe also to herself. Though I guess, yeah, she, even without that effect, her skills are, uh, I think most of her skills are based on getting hit anyway, or they gain skill points from getting hit. So yes, so Telopsis is actually surprisingly one of my lower leveled, uh, one of my lower leveled uh, medics, at least of the ones that are have been promoted. So yes, Telopsis. Telopsis is pretty good, just as is, I think. But um, I think we'll also either swap out or upgrade another medic, leaning more towards swapping out. Hmm. I guess there aren't a whole lot of other medics. There aren't all that many other medics that I'm all that interested in using at this specific moment in time. So I think I'll just switch to one that... Yeah, I'll just switch to one that I haven't used a whole lot, to be honest. Yeah, I here. Hmm. I thought the Gabiel had a, an English voice too. Whoops. She does. I don't know why... Yeah. I thought I had switched to English voices for all of my operators that have them, but I guess I didn't. Anyway, Gabiel. I haven't used Gabiel all that much, but now she's here. We'll see her. She's pretty cool. I like Gabiel. 
She's a fun character. We'll get to see a lot of her in the future. But yes, as for that, uh, we've now completely eliminated all the three-star medics from our team, but I guess we didn't have any three-star medics on our team to begin with. We really only had four-star. But yes, so Doberman's not going to be buffing them. Doberman is only going to be affecting a few members of our team, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to get the... I don't know, I guess I could make the... Uh, I was going to say, I don't know that I'll be able to get Got the it. chance to use Doberman's talent all that much, but I can always, you know, make it happen if I really want to. But yes. So how are we doing? We've got two sources of arts damage. We've got one blocker or one defender. Pretty good one, a healing defender. But yes. And now we have, we've got like four guards. Which is more guards than I usually run, but yeah, we've got decent arch damage coverage. We've got pretty decent uh, physical range damage coverage. Vanilla, I'm not super, super sold on yet, but given that we now have, you know, some medics that are at least vaguely <laughs> somewhere near what could be considered on level. We might see a little bit more use out of vanilla yet. But yes. So. I think that should be fine. Actually, you know what? Since we've been having issues with Ling, might as well level her up too. Actually, do I want to... Hmm. Alright, give me another second. Because I'm considering switching Ling out for a caster. Now, do I have a caster who's... Hmm. Yeah, I have three star casters, but all of my three star casters are pretty strong for what we're at. Lava. Lava's within striking distance of the level that we're at. Hmm. Is there another caster that I would like to show, though? Hmm, probably. I don't know. I like having Ling around, but I'm not, you know, I'm not married to the idea of having Ling on the team, necessarily. I do like the summons, though. I can't deny that. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll switch to... Who else would we switch to, actually? Oh, you know what? You know who I've wanted to use for a little while and haven't used for a very long time? Ba, ba, ba. Should I go with Eyeshadow Palette 3001? I think I've used her on a team in the past on stream, but I've wanted to use her for a while. But yeah, I don't know that Roberta. I don't know how to use Roberta very well. It occurs to me that I've completely forgotten how her skill works. Okay, so she can also. She's another character who deploys things. Yes, deploys, carries two modelers, max three can be deployed at once. Modelers grant plus 13% defense and one shield to the melee allied unit ahead. As for 15 seconds, defense increase does not stack. <clears throat> so, do those regenerate is a question. That's just, uh, yeah, just a buff. And a buff for Roberta specifically, it looks like. Roberta is also a melee unit. I thought that she was a ranged unit, but I guess I'm wrong. And if I were to promote her, I would get full auto modeler. Okay, so yeah, so that skill does give us a modeler back. Yes. And it gives her increase the talent. Yeah, so that gives us three modelers to start out with. Hmm. Of course, this would concentrate more more onto our onto the melee tiles which we've already we're already pretty heavy on melee tiles i kind of wanted a ranged unit so let's see what else i can wrestle up let's see midnight can do attacks at range but he isn't a ranged unit but he is a three star Hmm. 
You know what? Okay, I think I'll... Yeah, I think I will promote Roberta. You've already got a pretty melee heavy build anyway. So why not double down? Yes, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that the modelers also don't consume deployment. Uh, they don't take up spaces that could be occupied by other units because they don't attack, if I remember correctly. Let's promote Roberta. Roberta. An entire room full of metals like this one back in my studio in Rankwood. Hey, Doctor, can you give me something a little more interesting for my reward? No. But I can give you the ability to be deployed onto the battlefield. Would you like that? Yes. Can't forget to switch over to full auto modeler. Yes. So this, yeah. Similar, doesn't increase her attack. But again, we'll get Should another I go modeler. With Eyeshadow Palette 3001 or perhaps 3002? Yeah, what's her defense like actually? 340, which is pretty good, actually. Compared to, say, Midnight's, yeah, 222. Yeah, actually, Roberta is a pretty good uh, blocking unit, I think. Hmm. Anyway. Let us begin. <clears throat> Looks like you had a rough time as well. Madam Chen, what happened here? We were ambushed by Reunion. Hold on. I feel like... This doesn't feel right. I think we missed something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oop. Don't do that, please. Listen, everyone. Alright. Stay calm. Alright, I'll do my best, Cruise. Some terrains, such as bushes, can provide good camouflage for our operators in the open field. You should take advantage of such terrain to ambush our enemies. Yes. So what this is saying is that operators that you deploy onto bushes won't be targeted by Are range they the attacks. Ones who caused such destruction and started all this conflict. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it, Quartz. We're all good. If anything, the issue is my own lack of timing. Yes. I feel like... I don't know, it feels like a very abrupt transition from last part to this part. Because, yeah, there's no... I definitely did the after story, I'm confident of that. We'll double check. Yeah, this... we've already seen this. I don't know, I feel like there was a cutscene I missed or something. But I don't think so. Hmm. It might be, though, actually. Because I was thinking that there were... I don't know. <laughs> we won't worry about it right now. We won't worry about it right now. We'll do the mission. Yeah, I'll have to look into that, though. Because I feel like... I don't know. It it might just be that this was just a an oddly abrupt transition. That happens sometimes. Anyway, looks like you had a rough time as well. Adam Chen, what happened here? We were ambushed by Reunion. We were caught in a withering assault with no reinforcements. They easily routed our forces. And Misha? She was taken away by a woman dressed in red. <sighs> I really should have. Hmm? Never mind. Adam Chen, why is Misha so special? If you keep hiding things from us, it's only going to be harder and harder for us to continue working together. I have no obligation to tell you, but Roach Island has an obligation to understand the objectives and prepare our strategies accordingly. Naturally, we'll continue to follow the LGD's instructions during our operations. However, when it comes to using the infected to fight other infected, we need all the information we can get. While you may have information, you don't have the means of using it effectively to reduce your losses. On the other hand, we have the ability to stop Reunion, but we don't know what we're after, or what they're after. You sounded a bit like that doctor just now. It 
Is is that so? I think this is something that is equally important to both of us. I see. If it's because you need to ask for permission from Chief Wei... When we investigated Misha, the most prominent bit of information was that her father was one of Chernabog's most influential people. Misha's father? Naturally, we don't know how much Misha knows about Chernabog. She could know nothing, or she could know everything. Nobody knows. Except her. We also have no idea what kind of information she might have. Since you predicted that Lung Men would be Reunion's next target, it's obvious that we have to prevent Reunion from using Chernabog. That's why we can't allow them to have Misha. We were aware of the fact that someone who fit her description had taken refuge in Lung Men, but until you actually found her, we weren't able to verify if that intel was accurate. If that's the case, we can't waste any more time. We have to stop Reunion and rescue Misha before they're able to take her back to Chernabog. Rhodes Island, prepare to move out. It was the L LGD's responsibility to track her down, and letting Reunion capture her was a dereliction of our duties. Rather than launching a joint operation, we'll need Rhodes Island to eliminate other threats from Reunion. This is an order. Understood? Don't let me down. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, was I reading... Was I... No, okay, that was... Yeah, that was all Chen dialogue. For a second there, I thought that I was reading their voices in the... Or I was reading their dialogue in the wrong voice, because I... Yeah. Anyway, that understood was supposed to be from Amiya, and this Don't Let Me Down is from Chen. I saw Amiya's name briefly, and I realized, oh, hold on. Have I been... Yeah, but we're fine. Don't Let Me Down. N no, d don't beat me. You should have thought twice before entering Lung Men. Ah! Lock them all up. They're not with this group of infected curses. Not with this group either. Ugh. Curse at all. They they retreated way too quickly. It seems that Reunion also has its own hierarchy. They just left the Rift Rap behind to buy them more time. To think that a single person could delay our reinforcements. Just who are they? Madam, we found some Reunion stragglers over there. Follow me. Be careful, Madam Chen. It's an ambush. Get out of here. Don't get in my way. Madam Chen, we're still on Lungmen soil. The nearby facilities can still be used, so please try not to cause too much damage. Shut up already. At least, don't cut these buildings to pieces. This woman. She's so hard to deal with. Hard to deal with? Foolish infected. Did you think we'd allow you to help to treat lung men like your personal latrine? LGD, attack! Shen can be a little bit hard to deal with sometimes, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure out a way to get along with her. By the way, did you know that some terrains, such as bushes, can provide good camouflage for our operators in the open field? Maybe I should take advantage of such terrain to ambush our enemies. Anyway. Um we'll place vanilla. I guess it doesn't matter too Ready? much. Stick to the plan. No, yeah. Definitely doesn't matter too much if we're dealing with slugs. I won't sleep on the job. Yes, this must be quite painful for for a vanilla to have to deal with all these Originium slugs, but uh, sacrifices must be made, of course. Bring your face closer this way, okay? Thanks. I'll pay attention to mm. how much force there you are. So yes, so this will provide a little bit of defense. Yes, as you can see, there are ranged units here that are not attacking crews, of course. Because they deployed Roberta, they wouldn't be attacking crews anyway, but uh, they are especially not attacking crews right now. Probably should have faced Roberta upwards, but it is what it is. Now... Actually, I guess if we want to show off the bush, 
There we go. We can deploy another medic, and of course, right, the lurkers. So yeah, so lurkers are another unit that have a, uh, yeah, have a special ability regarding, uh, get out of here. Yes, have a special ability regarding whether or not they can be targeted, in that they, uh, yeah, they cannot be targeted while, uh, yeah, they cannot be targeted by ranged attacks while they are not being blocked. There we go. Manage that eventually. Okay, so yeah, so she doesn't... Hmm, okay. So yeah, so she doesn't attack while she while her skill is active. She just becomes a blocker. Interesting. Yes, having the ability to generate skill points faster on her would be especially nice. But I guess I was probably a little bit faster on using the uh, modelers than I needed to be. There you are. Yes, I could be using could be using vanilla a little bit more efficiently. But it doesn't feel all that necessary. We're doing pretty okay. But yes. Vanilla can block two, quartz can block two also. I think I'll I think I'll we've got like a lot of deploying points. We'll switch out to quartz. Because yes, now we can attack multiple units at once. Your orders. Take that. Yes, as you can see, they aren't being targeted until they are being blocked. We've got a drone coming our way, it looks like. Cruz, now that she is on the level, should be able to deal with that pretty easily. I don't think we'll have any real troubles going further into this mission. So that, actually, that drone is completely out of her range. So, we do need to deploy another ranged unit, at least. Quartz. And get a little bit more damage. Catapult. And get a little bit more damage as well. Actually, hold on. Does this... This increases defense by... It's a percentage, wasn't it? Yes. So, of course, still doesn't have any d defense, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, now we need to heal uh, fast. Now that we're in a place where enemies are dealing uh, <laughs> dealing uh, physical damage to us, Quartz is not uh, the best. But she did handle that pretty well, actually. So maybe maybe I'm being a little bit harsh. Oh right, right. I remember now. <laughs> I need to actually beat the level properly in order to be able to see the story that comes after it. Right. Anyway, well, we've got our strategy, basically, so. Did you know? Anyway. Deploy vanilla. Deploy fruit. I guess one thing that we could do is I usually place my, or at least I have been placing my, melee units pretty far forward, but that isn't strictly necessary. Mm -hmm, Especially not in a situation like this, where we have the bushes. But yeah, we could just as easily deploy them pretty far back and give our ranged operators more time to attack. Of course, they can't attack everything, as we've already established, but they can definitely do some attacking. And I think one thing... Got it that could be particularly useful to us is if we... Actually, we'll need to deploy Telopsis. Mm, not here. Not here. Here. There we go. We want some healing, of course. Silverman isn't uh, contributing a whole lot from her position. But anyway, what I was thinking of is we can place Roberta here and then quartz roughly like there. And that would give us a pretty good... Hmm. I don't like this. But I guess Vanilla doesn't need to stick around for too long. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hmm. 
Now that I think about it, I should have deployed Roberta second, actually. Because, yeah. Now if I place Quartz, she's going to be in a little bit more of a troublesome position. Because she's going to be more vulnerable to being targeted. Your orders. Hang in there. Hmm. But honestly, she's got a lot of health, and we're not You're facing enemies that are too aim. strong. Trying to remember. So the modelers provide shield, but I'm trying to remember what. Oh, sorry. But yes. Anyway, the modelers provide shield. But I don't remember offhand what exactly S.H.I.E.L.D. does. Hmm. So yeah, it's not Sanctuary. That is a percentage damage decrease. And yeah, the percentage um, defense increase from the modelers is completely useless for uh, ports. Hmm. Let me, let me see. We'll consult the wiki again. Oops, I can spell it. Arknights.wiki.gg Shield. Does it just have... Okay, shield. Shield. Okay, shield blocks one instance of damage per... Oh dear. Okay, I let things get out a little bit out of hand there. Hmm. Midnight, uh, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing instead of looking things up uh, on the internet while we should be playing the video game. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, madam? Speak. Most of Reen's forces have retreated already. Madam Chen, we're also done here. About those reunion suspects that we've rounded up a few days ago. Have we been able to get any information out of them? Hmm. Does this crossbow look familiar to you? You're able to draw it, aren't you? What's the structure of the ammunition? How does it work? What were you doing in the slums? What were you doing in Lung Men? Very taciturn, this individual. Nothing. They won't say a word. Or perhaps they just didn't know anything. They don't know why they're here. They don't know why they have this crossbow. All they know is that they must kill. Like the other reunion members we defeated, they're probably nothing more than obedient puppets. Make them speak. Use any methods necessary. They want to know about their squads, their leadership, their strategies, where they're from, and what they plan to do. Get everything out of them that you can. I want everything that I can get. Report back to me right away, no matter how insignificant it might seem. Roger. Has the LGD ever arrested reunion members before? We can't say for sure. In the end, it's just speculation. Get me in touch with Hoshiguma. How's the Special Operations Division faring? Are they still being overwhelmed by a single infected? The uh, reunion seems to have pulled back on their end as well. Inspector Hoshiguma is worried about a possible trap and is trying to rule out all risks. Hmm. Just a single person. Who do they think they are, coming and going like that? You should already know what your next mission is going to be, Amiya. We're going to get Misha back? Correct. This will be the joint operation. The LGD will take the lead, while Rhodes Island will be in charge of recon and the assault. Your mission is complete as long is complete as long as you can stall Reunion's threat. Understood. If we're looking for the enemy, won't we also risk being discovered? Right now, we don't have enough support for our recon squad. Can't do this on our own. We should leave this to the professionals. Uh, Franca, help me get in touch with Penguin Logistics. We're going to need another favor from Exusia in Texas. Well, yes, thank you very much for your for your hard work there, Midnight. And so yeah, so that is our first step 
into chapter three. We just unlocked the challenge mode version of this stage also. I haven't done a whole lot of challenge mode before, or at least uh, not on stream. In fact, I don't think I've done challenge mode at all on stream, now that I think about it. We haven't had the opportunity to, I guess. But, um, yeah, anyway. So, certain stages have a challenge mode on them. Activating challenge mode will give you a certain, give you certain uh, penalties, generally speaking, and it will just generally make the stage harder. But yeah, I'm not planning on doing challenge mode right now. I think we're probably going to call it for today, actually. But yeah, it's not too late, but we've done a pretty good amount. I feel like this is a decent place to stop. But yes, so back to Twitch. Oh, and I'll, I should also go back to the room, huh? There we are. Anyway, so yes. So, gotta line up a raid as well, as per usual. And let's see, what are we going to be doing today? Or who are we going to be seeing today, maybe even? So yes. Actually, hold on. Let me do this one thing at a time. So, Raid. Who do we... Right, right, right. Eh. Ugh. I've forgotten. I've... Yeah. Let's take this from the top. So, as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would like to hear them. I can always find a raid target on my own as well. And while we are... Yeah, while I... I'm going to give you all time to come up with any suggestions, and in the meantime, I'll talk about the business. So yeah, so once again, not a whole lot of business, to be sure. But, let's see. So, next week, again, could see a lot of changes to the schedule. I'll be out of the house and out of town for a good portion of next week, so that will definitely affect the streaming. But, I think... Yeah, I think I should be able to, if I will do everything within my power to stream on, on Wednesday, assuming that the collab still happens that day, and it might not, given circumstances, but yeah, assuming that it is something that we, that we are planning on, that will be something that I will try to do. And as for Saturday, I think, yeah, I think I should be able to be back in time for at least an evening stream on Saturday, possibly also another afternoon stream, but uh, one way or the other. If there is a Wednesday stream, it will be Coffee Talk with Sheppy Sheps. I keep referring to it simply as The Collab, more or less, without uh, talking about who I am collabing with or what we are playing. I guess because for a long time it was the only uh, regular series that I was doing here on this channel. But yes, anyway. So the ongoing Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Sheps is a Wednesdayly thing. We will see that on this upcoming Wednesday, maybe, or maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't know what Sheppy's plans for uh, this uh, for this holiday are. But yeah. As for th and yeah, other than that, once again, when for Saturday, Arc Nights, possibly in the afternoon, possibly in the evening. I don't know when I'll be back, to be honest because I'm going to be out of town and out of the house for much of that this upcoming week, as I said. So, yeah, I think that should cover basically everything that needs to be said. Thank you all for, or wait, hold on, great. <laughs> uh, really not used to streaming on my own, am I? Anyway, who shall we see? I think we'll go and visit Alt. It's been a little while since we visited Alt, I think. Altariana. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Playing some Fortnite, it looks like. All right. Anyway, so, raid. Altariana. All right, so that should be good. I spelled it correctly and everything, wow. So, thank you all for being here today. I hope that you have had a fine day. I hope that you will continue to have a fine day every day. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I... Oh, wait, hold on. 
The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Here we are. So, now we are ready. Thank you all for being here today. I hope that you have had a fine day. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine day every day. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>